He ruled the bench with an iron fist and a sharp tongue. I sat down for an exclusive interview with Superior Court Judge Michael Coopersmith as he reflects on his career, the cases that stuck with him, and the future of the Vermont judiciary. Good afternoon, be seated, please. For nearly three decades, this man has dished out a brand of justice uniquely his own. The idea that she died because she fell because she was drunk is poppycock, to say the least. Rarely holding back. How stupid can an individual be to pick up a, a, a firearm and aim it at another person? And never mincing words when it comes to Vermont's most egregious criminals. I can think of maybe only half a dozen, maybe a dozen, beyond redemption for whom there was no hope and you sir are at the bottom of that list now superior court judge michael coopersmith is calling it quits hanging up the robe after 28 years on the bench i'm not sure this is going to really hit home for at least another week at 72 the new york native has presided over hundreds of trials and says he's enjoyed his time at the helm a job that suit his personality well. Well, I, I guess in the end, I like to be in charge. <laughs> I like to be the person calling the shots. But his career started on the other side of the bench. As a young litigator, fresh out of NYU law, Cooper Smith moved to the Green Mountains in 1971, took a job with Vermont Legal Aid, and worked as a juvenile and public defender. There are some highs, but there are lots of lows, and it's very anxiety-producing, I found. Moving to the bench was a way to stay in the action, but the stakes are high for trial judges, too. Does this make sense? Am I doing the right thing? Am I being fair? Being fair doesn't necessarily mean being popular. An accused sex offender has been charged with threatening to kill a judge who sent him to prison. Cooper Smith has been called a monkey, too, but that defendant paid the price for saying so in open court. Ten days to serve for calling the court a name. Do you think that you're a tough judge or tougher than any of your colleagues? Um, I think in some ways I am. I know I'm, I'm, I can be hard on the lawyers. Cooper Smith once threw out a slew of drug cases because a lawyer was four minutes late for a hearing. The ruling didn't go over well with other prosecutors. It, it really is, I think, unfair to this particular prosecutor to have her singled out. Is he at Northwest? Over the years, Cooper Smith watched as legal priorities changed. Prosecutions for domestic assaults and sex crimes are way up, but it's drugs and the fallout from addiction that's inundating Vermont's judicial system. But I think we should talk about further decriminalization. Shifting resources away from corrections into treatment and prevention at the earliest age. Mr. Rooney, let's get one thing straight. You are not a victim in this case. Then there are the cases he just can't shake. Brian Rooney raped and murdered UVM student Michelle Gardner Quinn in 2006. But I really want to say to him, Rooney, you're the scum of the earth. But, you know, that, that doesn't come across so well. So I said, you're the lowest of the low. Let's bring the jury in. Christine Grace has weighed on his mind for nearly 25 years. And I always thought if I had been on that jury, I would have found her not guilty. He couldn't reverse the manslaughter verdict, so he sentenced the battered woman to probation. Most of the people that we deal with here are really damaged people. Cooper Smith calls it a social tragedy, watching multiple generations regress to lives of crime. And your, your story reeks with self-pity, and it's despicable. Notorious for his stern lectures, Cooper Smith questions whether his words connect. He hopes they did. Do you think that you have made a difference in the judicial system over all these years? I don't know. <laughs> um, I like to think that I've nudged the law along in certain ways. His proudest legal accomplishment? is something that required almost no effort at all. By incorporating a higher court's ruling on electronic search and seizure into one of his own decisions, he successfully stopped Vermont police from broadly fishing around on suspects' computers. I'm sure there are hundreds of small regrets. But nothing he'll dwell on as he closes the book on this chapter of his life. Hard to hang up the robe. In some ways. Jennifer Costa, Channel 3 News, Burlington.
Now, something you may not know about Judge Cooper Smith is that he's an avid curler, and in retirement, he hopes to drum up more interest in a local league. He'll also be teaching criminal law at Champlain College this fall and returning to the courtroom in September for one last trial.